Hi Floss Tube. I'm Steph with Stitch Goes My Heart. Uh, today is Saturday, February 15th. Also happens to be my dad's birthday. And I just want to say hi. I have missed you guys so much. It has been a hot minute. It's actually been tomorrow will be two months since I put up my last floss tube. And I cannot believe how fast time has gone by. Uh, if you're new and you just found me, welcome. I'm so glad you are coming to join me. I hope you enjoy this. It's a channel about cross-stitching. And for all my returning subscribers, welcome back. Uh, as I said, I've missed you all so much. Uh, does anyone else feel like time is just flying by? It's already the middle of February, but I feel like half a year's gone by. And I feel like a half a year's gone and... I'm behind on everything already like like yeah so so that's just the way that it is but it has been a long time and uh lots of fun stuff's been going on I'm not gonna catch you up on everything because it, it would be just too long of a video and I really just want to mostly talk about cross stitch and show my projects and my haul and all that fun stuff um I hope you've all been well I hope you all had a good Christmas happy new year we just had Valentine's Day and uh, I'm a big proponent of celebrating Valentine's Day whether you're married uh single dating whatever I think um love is just awesome and I think sharing love with other people speaking words of kindness and trying to brighten someone's day can never be a bad thing so anyway I hope you guys had a good one uh I wrote notes but it feels like because it's been so long I'm just warning you this could be this could be really cohesive and make a lot of sense it could also be just a big giant hot mess so Let's get going and see what it turns into. <laughs> um, so two first Thursdays have already passed, January and February. Uh, super fun. Um, and the acorn gathering happened at the end of January, and that was a blast. Um, people have probably been showing it, but I just wanted to show quickly. Uh, for people who don't know what the acorn gathering is, it's at Acorns and Threads. And they, it's about, I think there was 33 people this time. And, um... We had broke up into separate tables and there's a special project and uh, last year it was last year was my first year last year was uh kitten stitcher and this year it's the blue flower now i can't show you the actual picture of the project because it's the chart and it's an exclusive just for the people who were at the event so i can't show that but i'll just show you what i did so if i didn't already say it i think i did but the blue flower jenny mcgowan is the one who um did the design and uh most of you know i love her <laughs> so and i decided to go ahead and do mine one over one I've never, I, yeah, that's as far as I've gotten. And there's a reason why I haven't done a lot. I have been really behind on my stitching people. Uh, and that, I'm just going to fast forward real fast to the reason why I'm so behind on everything. And that is because um, the lovely Liz Matthews from Hello, uh, from Liz Matthews, asked me to stitch another model for her. And so I was busy doing that and because I'm not a fast stitcher and I just, that's just who I am. Um, that was what I was working on. And I did, I chose not to work on, um, anything else while I was working on that because that was something that I needed to get done for her. And even though I'm slow, I, I did not want to take t any time away from that project for her. So I hadn't done anything. I was stitching on it for about three, three and a half weeks. And that was it. That was all that I worked on. And so that's why I just haven't been posting much of anything. And I feel like I've kind of been MIA for a little while. Um, it is going to be a market release. So I can't show it. It's already been sent back to Liz and she's received it. And uh, I believe it, she'll be showing it in a video coming up. I think on the 20th or 24th with her mom, Kathy Barrick. They're going to be showing their market releases. But I don't have uh, anything to show you guys. So you'll be able to see it then. Um, but it was fun. It's a, I don't know if I can say this, but I will. it's an antique reproduction. So that was really neat. I'd never done anything like that. It was um, pretty fun doing something that I'd, I'd never done before. So that was really cool. Um, 
Oh, also, um, sweet Becca of Sambri Stitches, uh, she was celebrating uh, uh, Friendship Month, and uh, at first Thursday for February, um, she um, gave me um, this cute little, um, it's a star ornament, and she had stitched up It's You I Like, and in, in my favorite color, and um, she's doing that for some people, and uh, putting them on there, and on the back, she wrote um, to me from her, and the date, and um, do you ever have one of those moments where you have something special, and you put it somewhere safe, so that you can get to it, and show it, or whatever. Yeah, I did that, and I don't know where that safe place is now. <laughs> so, uh, we'll pretend it's right here. It's a star. It's you I like from Becca. Thank you, Becca. Um, I'll try and um, take a photo of it and post it on IG when I find it. It's safe somewhere. I'm sorry. I'm such a bad person. I feel so bad. Um, and uh, uh, last week at... Um, First Thursday, also, um, Wendy was so sweet. She um, gave me a present. She remembered that my birthday was coming up, and she gave me, I, I don't I don't have it with me either, people. Ugh. And it's a, like a little cage. It, it's like a bee skep with little bees on it, and it has some uh, flowers in it. It was real cute. That was really um, sweet of her to remember me that way, so I appreciate that. And then one other thing that I have, and I actually do have this, and it happens to be in front of me, uh, my uh, friend Darlene, you all know Darlene, the most famous non-floss tuber floss tuber. She knows I love sheep. It's a bell. Sorry. Um, she knows I love sheep. And there's a woman, uh, I believe in Montana, who does um, felted wool. Am I saying that right? And look. You can use it as a little ornament. Look, look, and look at his cute little sheepy fuzzy butt. Isn't it? It's so cute. So thank you, darling. I love it so much. I mean, how cute. Oh, so cute. Love it. So if if it moves and you hear jingling, that's what that is. Um, and I did have a couple commissions for scissor fobs, so I got those done and out. That was fun. Um the you know what? I'm talking kind of fast, and it's funny because I feel like I have a lot to say, and it's been so long, but I feel like I'm also cruising along at a good time, and this might not be as long as I think, and I'm okay with that. Again, I, I know you guys, I've, I've gotten feedback from a lot of you. Um, some people are, are like, I love the shorter videos. It's something that I can get done in a, a quick amount of time. Um, come in, see your projects, and move on with my day. And then other people say, have told me, when you're talking about cross stitch and showing stuff, it, it could be as long as you want because I love hearing about cross stitch and what you're working on and all that. So I take that into account, but um, I don't mind when they're shorter uh, and they're easier to upload. Just saying. <laughs> um, so whips. I still have all the stuff I've been working on. Now I am not a huge whip girl, as most of you know. Like some people have a lot of whips. I know some people who have 40, 50 whips. That that to me is like, I, I can't do that. Uh, I am have always been a monogamous stitcher. I've branched out some, and some of that is because of sows that I've joined. Uh, but I'm also, uh, to coin uh, Benny's in my little hashtag, hashtag also take your time though, because you can't, you just can't. I mean, unless you're working on one thing at a time or you are the world's fastest stitcher, it's impossible to me to get all those things done. And when, when you keep joining a sal, it's just, but it's fun and I love it. And I love joining and then reminding myself it's okay. There is no race. There's no time frame for when this has to be done. So start it, enjoy it, and if something else comes along, work on that. Doesn't really matter. Do what makes you happy. That's the thing that I love about cross stitch is that there's no rules. I mean, there's no rules. There's no rules about the projects you need to work on, what you need to do. It's fun to join things if you want. Um, I do think, I don't know if a lot of people talk about this. You can stitch however you want. The whole point of stitching is to do something that soothes and relaxes and um, is just 
of something that's fun in your life. Um, recommendations that I think, I really think, um, your top leg on your last, on your, the top leg of your stitch should always go the same direction. I don't know if there's any of you out there who've never been told that, um, and didn't know it. And if you are happy stitching the way that you are, keep on doing what you want to do. But if you didn't know and you want to be like, hey, that's a great tip. I didn't know. And I would love to um, improve the look of my stitching. That's a really simple way to improve the look of your stitching. If you are a stitcher, this is going to be backwards, but if you're a stitcher, I think, if you're a stitcher who does bottom left, top right, and then, <clears throat> excuse me, bottom right, top left, uh, just make sure that your top leg is always going the same direction. It's just more pleasing to the eye. The light catches it better. Um, anyway, not a rule at all. It's just a tip for um, as you grow and progress. I think there's great things to learn. Um, hey, I'm the girl that when I was younger, I used to knot my floss at the back. I didn't do the loop start or anchor method or do the run it under. Yeah, I literally knotted the 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 beginning of my floss and knotted the end of it. And I had big chunks of knots all on the back of my project. That's what I did. I don't do it anymore. And I'm very happy that I don't anymore. But, you know, everybody starts somewhere and uh, you just keep working away at it. And it's one of those things that if you want to, um, get better, you can, you can keep, you, it's an amazing art and hobby, um, where you can just keep getting better or you can stay where you're at and enjoy that too. Whatever you want to do. Uh, that was an, a random, like I digress. Hello. But anyway, so my point was that I am not going to show my other whips. Wow. That really did. I took it. Wow, I took a hard turn there. Um, I'm not going to talk. I'm not going to show my other whips. Maybe I'll do a whip parade coming up in the next couple of months. But again, I only have like 13 or 14 whips. It's not a lot. And I haven't gotten them done because even though I have the whips and even though I'm not super monogamous anymore, I do tend to still like I like to focus on just a couple. And uh, you guys know that I had been working on the Wild Violet Cross Stitch. The, there was a three, the postage stamps. I was working on the Santa. I was working on him. And you guys knew I had shared that I was doing it one strand over two on 32. So it's really sparse. Having said that, though, he's um, pretty cute. And he's tiny. And he should be finished, but he's not. But I did get some more done, I think, since the last time I showed you guys. Because I think, I want to see the last time I showed you guys, I really only had his face and part of this. I mean, I've got part of the postage stamp part done, the moon, his little um, helmet bubble, the present. So, I mean, I'm, I, I'm getting going. And I think... I think he's pretty cute for one over two, even though he's sparse. I like him. I think really the only part that it really looks sparse is his skin color and his beard. And I that's I think just because um the nature of the beast with lighter colors and they're thinner and they show through more. And then I'm only doing one strand. But it's um been he's really cute, so I wanted to show that I'd gotten a little more work done on him. I am um I started on the Emerald City, the hashtag uh, PNW Emerald City Sal that um, Marion, Anna, Shelly, Kiek Stitch, uh, Colette joined. Um, did I forget? I'm sorry. I'm. Uh, but we did, we all decided to do the Owl Forest um, Emerald City Sal. Um, and we're doing the PNW Emerald City Sal because Pacific Northwest Stitchers. And that's what that is. And now most people are, the way that it got released was like, this was one, this is two, three, and it goes on. And I think it goes up to 10 or 11. I'm a middle starter. That's what I do. So because I'm a middle starter and I haven't gotten much done, as I said, I haven't gotten much done, people. I was busy <laughs> with the other stitch, but that's how much I've gotten done. 
Oh, and the other thing about this too, if you guys remember, I had started this on a totally different fabric because I started this on the day that we started our sale. And I had picked certain colors and I started it on a totally different fabric. I think I was doing a 36 count. No, it was a 32. I was doing a 32 count and I was going to do one over two. Um, I was a much lighter, weird mottled green color. Pretty, but I just wasn't loving it. I wasn't loving the colors. And I said, nope, I'm going to start over. So I have this um, fabric and it is... I have it written down on my IG. Um, I can't think of what it is right now. Um, anyway, it's really pretty, but it's a darker green. And and so, and I picked different green colors. So if you can see, I mean, um, this right here is a pretty dark green. And that is actually this really kind of goldish color. So I'm keeping it in the vein of what it is but changing it and I picked some really pretty colors to go with it so um that's been really fun like I said I'm kind of making stuff up as I go I am also doing the heartstring samplery choose your own motto sampler so beautiful that border just got me when I saw um, Beth working away on that. And um, as some of you know, it I am stitching it with uh, Anna, Willie, well, yeah, Anna. You guys know Quilt Roadie, Stitch Roadie. Um, and we are doing the, uh, I was a cross stitcher before cross stitching was cool. And Beth had charted that up. And so that's what we're doing. So it's the hashtag cool stitcher sal. And, Anna is cruising along. She has already gotten um, over half of the border done now um, going this way. And it's beautiful. She's done a beautiful job. I haven't gotten as much done, but uh, I did post a picture of it um, a while back. And I've gotten more done. And I'm loving it. I'm doing it on Vintage Beeswax by R&R &R on 36 count. And I just love it. Uh, there. And I'm doing my own colors. I'm doing a lot of the called fours, but I'm also doing my own. Um, I'm because I, 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 as I've shared before, I like um, my colors to match the photo. So when I pull all the colors that are called for, if I don't end up liking the color in real life, I will sometimes go and try and take a color off the wall that matches the picture, and I end up going with that. But isn't that pretty? I think it's turning out really pretty. I'm very happy with it. And the other fun thing about this is it is in my fun bag that I forgot to share on my last video. I had gotten a Nikki's Notables bag. This is the back. I love her bags. This is a 14 by 14. I love big bags. Um, and this is the front. I'm not going to. But look at the inside. It's Santa mugs. Isn't that so cute? I don't care that it's Christmas. I'm still going to use it. I love it. But I found the fabric because I loved it so much. And you guys know I like matchy matchy. And I'm all about my snippeties. Um, so I actually bought the fabric. And I had my Miss Marianne of Caddy Cross Stitches make me. See, look at my my floss. Just That's what I do, people. My floss just stays. there. Caddy Cross Stitches. Marianne has an Etsy shop. Go check her out. Um, so she made me the snippety. And I asked her to make me a little accessory bag to go with it. Isn't it so cute? So I'm ridiculously matchy-matchy. Love it. So I just thought I would share that because it's fun. So I've got that going on. That's very fun. Stuff's probably going to fall. That's not great. And let's see. I'm also working on Jenny Bean's Christmas Sampler. That we're doing as a sal. It is the, I think it's just JB, JB Christmas sal. And it's, I'm doing it with Darlene and Marion. And it is the um, Shakespeare's Peddler Jenny Beans Christmas sampler. I don't know if this is blurry for some reason. I love it. And um, this is how much I've gotten. And I actually just yesterday was working on this. 
and all I had was this part done and I had this part of the roof done and I hated it. The, the color was not great. And so I frogged it and I found, um, it's not the called for, but I really, really like it. And I'm really liking, um, this color that, and cause I'm changing up the colors, but I'm loving it. It's so cute. So I haven't gotten very far. The other two ladies are much farther ahead than me, but, um, I think it is adorable. I'm loving it. And then the uh, only other sale I have, I mean, uh, sale and whip going, is the highly anticipated Winter Rose Manor from Brenda Dervey with I Needle and Heart. Needle and Thread. Oh my gosh. With I Needle and Thread. So cute. I love it. And this is how much I, this is how much I have done. I have all the roof done. And I've got the outline of this pink house and one window. Uh, there's a big, there's a lot of filling on that roof. And that house, that's going to be a um, mama, big mamma jamma to fill in. But I love it. And this is, okay, this is the other thing. Okay, this is the thing. This is dirty. This is, uh, well, you know, it's actually sort of showing up true it's pretty dark and it's really dirty um it, it is just Zweiger um dirty 36 count nearly impossible to find it's the called for um I ended up hearing from someone I think it was Lori textilist was saying when she saw the model in person that it did not look as dark as this is but this is the called for color and I don't you guys know I don't usually do called for but I Got, I ended up getting the called for, and I'm kind of liking it, but when I was at First Thursday and I was showing people, there were a number of people who were like, I don't like that. I don't like that color. I mean, they weren't saying they didn't like my stitching or anything. They weren't being rude, but it got kind of into my head a little by them saying that they didn't like it. That Because everyone, everyone that I have seen that's working on it um, is using a much, much lighter color. So now I'm kind of having this dilemma of feeling like I don't even, I don't know what to do. I, um, the colors are going to pop beautifully. I think it's going to be really pretty, but I just, I'm feeling kind of insecure now about what I'm doing and if I should start over. So, you know, if any of you guys want to comment and let me know what you think, um, just, I don't, I don't like feeling that way, feeling, um, like I'm unsure of myself because I I like when I when I stitch and I pick a project I usually am pretty confident and I don't mind making changes but I usually feel pretty solid about what I'm doing um but this one I I'm not I'm not feeling so solid and I don't want to keep working on it if I'm going to change it but I also think it has the potential to be really really cool and different and because I'm changing some of the colors like I'm choosing I chose sand instead of conch for the color of the house it's just a little bit more pink um and I went more rosy um reddish colors rather than the brownish red colors that are called for so I think it could be really beautiful and it'll be very unique um so I'm just wondering if I should uh, press on or scrap it and start over so that's a question you guys can maybe give some advice on. I have one finish. Uh, I did post it on Instagram. It's that um, Aussie Friends for the um, Australia Wildfires for, this was from Sassy Jack Stitchery. Um, if you stitched it and posted it before February 29th, they'll make a donation. I didn't stitch the whole thing. Um, it had acorns here and this flower is supposed to go there. But I just like, I really like the simplicity of that. And this was on just a random mystery 32 count fabric and I used two over two and I, that, I don't enjoy two over two. It, it's hard to, I, I mean, I, I had fun with it, but it, uh, the other thing, this is funny too. When you stitch, I don't, don't be like, oh, you're dumb. You didn't know that. No, I knew this, but when you get so used to stitching one over two on like 36 and 40 count, you don't use as much floss, but when you stitch on 32, two over two, you use a lot of floss. I was like running out, like, I'm like, oh, wow, I'm going through floss a lot faster than I normally do. That's why. And duh, I know that, but I just, you don't think about it when you haven't been doing it for a while. 
So there's that. Um, I had talked about my my last couple of videos back before the new year started. I had mentioned that I wasn't sure about my plans for the year, uh, but that I was kind of going to make it the year of Plum Street. That's still my goal. I'm still going to work on all the whips that I have going, do that, but I might occasionally start a uh, Plum Street. And I also mentioned that I might do Stitch from Stash. So here's something also that I didn't realize this is how uh, out of tune with things I am. I did not realize that Stitch from Stash is an actual thing, that it has like a Facebook group and you have to like track your spending and what you earn. Yeah, I didn't know that. I literally just thought Stitch from Stash meant Stitch from Stash. Focus on what you have and try not to go buy things. And so I'm on board with that, but I don't want to do that stuff. I just want to um, do my own thing. And so I was talking to a friend and I'm like, what do I call it? Because I don't want to call it stitching, stitching from stash. And she gave me the cutest um, suggestion because of my name, Stitch Goes My Heart. And she said, do Stitch Goes My Stash. And I'm like, I love it. So I'm I'm working on putting, kidding things together from my stash so that I, Stitch Goes My Stash. So love it. Thanks, Lisa. That was a really, really cute idea. And so for that, I'm not going to show uh, everything because um, it's too much. But this cute bag, which happens to be from Diddly Devil Designs, um, is chock full. I'm not kidding you. This is Plum Street. All of this is Plum Street. And they are all kitted up. Some of them are missing the fabric, but I have the fabric. I just haven't... Um, cut the fabric down to size and put it in with this. But this whole thing is um, pomegranate Santa, um, snort stack. I love, I love the stacks. So I, these are things that um, I am, I already had in my stash and, you know, went through and got my um, flosses. I'm going to use the fabric that I have. So that is going to be keeping with what I had kind of some goals I had wanted for the year of um, doing that stitching from my stash. So stitch goes to the stash and doing Plum Street. So I'm going to work on what I have and I'll start, I'll still start other things too that aren't Plum Street, but I'm going to focus on adding Plum Street. I love Plum Street. You guys know I love Plum Street. Um, I also um, was getting my birthday is tomorrow. Um, I haven't, I've shared that, but I haven't shared that with everyone and I wasn't sure if I was going to share it with the world but tomorrow's my birthday so it's cute because my dad and I are a day apart obviously not in years but um yeah so they were kind of hoping I would end up being born on his date but apparently I was stubborn and wanted my own day so but it's cute because my whole life we've always kind of celebrated together my mom always would um make lasagna because that's my favorite so she'd make us lasagna and then she'd make a homemade black forest cake in the shape of heart and it would be a, a dual celebration for my dad and I and I always loved that in the last couple of years we haven't been able to get down there to celebrate together and I really miss that I miss doing that um it was really fun so um but yeah so tomorrow's my birthday and I'm thinking about doing a birthday start I don't know for sure so I'm just gonna lay out the idea that I have because I've got a lot that I'm working on and I love so the whips that I showed you guys I showed you five whips, and out of those five whips, the four, the Winter Rose Manor, um, Choose Your Own Motto Sampler with a Cool Stitcher Sal, Emerald City, and um, Jenny Bean. I am so in love with them so much that I just want to keep stitching them. So I'm not super like, oh, I must start something new. Oh, by the way, I also wanted to share, I forgot... The Winter Rose um, Manor, Linda Joe, Pretty Southern, and I are doing that together. And we hashtagged it Early Bird Sal because we got it early. And um, then some people joined us. Uh, Lisa Smith, Kindred Stitcher, Lori Tech Stylist, um, Kay Dunlap, um, she joined in with us. She's already done. Um, Farm Girl, Michelle Rudy, she joined in. And she's cruising right along too. So like I said, I'm really behind. Everybody else is like cruising along and I'm, I kind of got stuck. 
but that's okay. Like I said, you know, you can do, you move at your own pace. So yeah, so that's really cool. And I was going to show you, this was what I forgot. So because Linda Joe and I are doing this together, I made her a, um, it started out as just a sal for just the two of us. So, I mean, just a two person sal. And, um, she, um, made me a Winter Rose Manor, uh, project bag. So that's really fun. Oh, flinging things around. And, and then I made her a, um, floss ring for, um, keeping track of the floss for our Winter Rose Manor sal. And so there was that. And, um... So talking fast. Okay. And so birthday start. I'm thinking about doing a birthday start. And I have it kind of narrowed down to a couple things. And this one is one of the ones I'm debating about. And it is uh, the Cross-Eyed Cricut. Um, this one. And it is, I can't show you the inside because it's the chart. But it's actually two charts. So it's called Love and Carrots. But this particular chart is actually called Crazy Love because um, the L is backwards. But on the back, they have it charted where she fixed it and, and moved the L the correct way. What's funny is um, the first time I picked this up, I didn't realize that the L was backwards until really looking at it. And that was her point. She, no one recognized that the L was backwards when she was doing it. Everyone, or everyone thought that she did it on purpose. And this is the very first chart that I ever bought the first time that I went to Acorns and Threads. Uh, Janine kitted it up for me with a 28 count linen. And I was too scared to start it. Because even though it was beautiful, I did not want to do linen. Scared the living daylights out of me. So I stuck to my Ada. And I never did this chart. I no longer have that Ada. And I don't stitch on 28. Um, but I'm thinking I want to start it. Because it's really cute. And it's just right after Valentine's Day. And it says love. So I, I, I love that idea. And I have two fabrics that I'm debating between. Um, one of them is, uh, Rue Green. Um, and it's not super true. It's, um, almost a little more blue. This is not true, but it's more, a little more blue or slightly more green. This is the color. Um, this is, uh, it's by Silk Weaver and it's called Grassy Plains. And this is the fabric I was talking about, um, that I showed you for Emerald City Sal. This is the color. So these are the two colors I'm debating between. And um, if you look at here, it's a nice kind of um, sea foamy green. So it might be one of these two colors that I do. And it's all just DMC. So I that's just what it's, it's charted for is DMC. I think I'm flinging um, stuff around. And the other option is I'm thinking about doing, this is all kitted up. I love this. Um, I'm thinking about doing, it's the Cottage Garden Winter Wisdom. And, you know, it's funny when you see a chart, sometimes you don't fall in love with it. But then you see the model and you go, oh, I need that in my life. That is this chart. My friend Margaret um, was at the shop. I don't remember when this was. Might have been sometime in January. I had Christmas money. Um, and she said that she was going to start it. And I was like, you know, none of those really do anything for me. And she's like, well, did you see the model? And I looked at the model and I, oh my gosh, I felt so in love with it. These pine cones in person... I know it seems weird to say pine cones got you, but those pine cones, they got my heart. Oh my gosh, they are gorgeous. Now here's the thing. I know some people hate when people don't stick to the plan. They like called for colors. They like the called for fabric. They want you to chart, uh, I mean stitch everything that's on the chart. Not meaning any disrespect whatsoever to the designer. I am not a fan of the word wisdom. I'm not a fan of the word at all. Um, and so this is a, there's a bird series and I'm even looking at into a couple others. 
I think if I did any of the others, I won't do the words on it at all or change the word. I mean, I might change it to winter, but I really honestly, I don't want a word. So I'm thinking, trying to figure out how to get rid of that and shift. So I'd bring that in probably and just figure out, maybe move these two things around so that's not so much empty space. But, and the other thing that I did, I pretty much did everything that is the called for colors, except they were out of one color at the shop and I wanted to kit it because that's what I want to do. So I, I, um, just found a match, um, and a match for what I thought this looked like and it was perfect. But the one change that I really did do was the, um, the yellow and the orange in this picture you can't really see, but that is shockingly bright. Those birds in real life, I don't know what they are. They might be that shockingly bright in real life, but I don't, I don't, I don't like it. <laughs> they are, because every, everything on here is very subtle and um, lovely and kind of calming to look at. And then there's like this, whoa, this bright yellow and bright orange. And when you pulled the colors, I was like, no. I am not having that at all. So I went to the wall and I found colors that I liked. So I, instead of the bright orange, I ended up getting glazed carrots. And for the yellow, I ended up getting queen bee. They're just much more subtle. They look beautiful together. And I think that it will um, really go really well. And the cute thing was that Margaret... Um, so, saw what I was doing and she said, oh, I like that. Go do that for me too. So, so my sweet Margaret is doing the same colors that I am. So that's really fun. So I'm thinking about doing this too. I don't, I know winter's almost over and, and everybody's trying to get really into spring and all that, but stitch what you want people. So it's between those two. And I would ask for your help, but the fact of the matter is if I'm doing it as a birthday start and my birthday's tomorrow, I'm kind of running out of time to ask for your help. <laughs> so, uh, there's that. Uh, haul. A little obscene. I'm not going to show it all. And some of it I can't find. Because like I said with the um, cute star, the It's You I Like from Becca, uh, I put stuff in a safe place and I don't know where it is. So, but... I did get, so a lot of this is with Christmas money because my family and everybody knows that I just want cross stitch stuff. So they just give me cash so that I can buy what I want. But I got an Alforest kit. It's, um, I think it's called Bayoun Cat. Um, it's like that, the, the Wonder Whale one. So I got that. I'm not going to open the kit because we want to get going. And then I got this one. Oh, Enchanted Forest. I love this one so much. There's three more kits that I really, really want, and I have been stalking their website to get it, but they're they're out. It's the the Sea King, the Snow Queen, and the um, Queen of Hearts. I I want those so badly. Now you can get the PDFs of that of them, which is great. But I love their kits, even if their their fabric that it comes with is on 32 count, which again, as you know, isn't really my favorite. But I love their over dyed flosses because it's theirs. No one else has it. It is. Owl Forest over dyed flosses and they're beautiful and it, it's packaged so beautifully and it comes with a matching needle minder and it's just there's just something about it to me I just love the whole kit so that's what I'm gonna focus on um I also got okay so here's another thing next month at acorns and threads JoLynn is going to be teaching a strawberry class how to make a strawberry uh you guys know that I am not a finisher I mean, I'm a finisher, but I'm not an FFOer, but I want to start getting into that. That's the other thing about this year. This year, I want to make it about the year of finishing. What does that mean? Not really sure. Even if it's just one finish, an FFO, I want to my I want to get my sewing machine out, learn how to use it, and learn to make smalls. That's what I really want to do. Small little pillows, I'll make a strawberry. So I'm going to take a strawberry class. I'm really excited. So I'm really getting into the berries. There's a lot of stuff about berries that I did not know. Um, and I got to be honest with you, I don't think, um, not trying to be rude to Erica Michaels and stuff, but um, I don't think they give a good description of what you're actually looking at because I didn't know. Now they have a linen berry and a silk berry and they're companions, but 
the silk berry comes with silk gauze. It's 40 count and you're actually supposed to stitch it one over one and the whole thing. You stitch the whole thing. It's like mm, not see-through but it's kind of like see-through gauze. So every stitch is like it's not like where if you need like a blue background you're not stitching on blue. You're stitching the blue in. And, uh, but I like the designs on the silk ones better. They're petite. They're much more detailed. But I don't think I'm going to do one over one on 40 count. So the berries are supposed to be real tiny. So I don't know how big they're going to be. Um, and I'm going to do some of the linen ones, which will be more normal sized. But I just, I think that the silk berries are way cuter. The patterns are so much cuter. So I kind of went a little crazy and I got, um, a bunch of, of these so I'm gonna show quickly this is the silkberry honeyberry and I'm not taking them out so I'm sorry about the glare love it and then I got the mat the companion the linen berry but can you see look see all the detail that's on this and then this it's like barely anything it's so much cuter uh, although I'm gonna do this um I saw someone and I'm sorry I can't give you the credit because I forgot who it is at the moment and I didn't write it down who stitched it on that hive fabric from fabric flare and it's so much cuter than just like plain linen so i ordered some and i'm totally gonna do that um and then i also got um sweet freedom berry that's a silk one i got mostly silks um the silk berry uh scary berry so cute um fall bounty berry that acorn is so cool this one's a linen one. It's Mistletoe Kisses. I think it says Mistletoe Kisses, Candy Cane Wishes, and Candy Cane Wishes. And there's a small pillow and two strawberries that you can do out of this one. There's a lot of Christmas ones in here. Um, St. Nick's Berry. They're so cute. Chris, Chris Moose Berry. I actually think I bought, that's when I was saying that I, I can't find stuff. I think I bought the linen version of this um, in December, and I can't find it. So... I don't know where it is, but now I have the silk one. These were on 50% off, so you had to get both. This is the um, holly berry. And then the linen holly berry. And then this one, the um, Ebenezer's Blessing. It's so cute. So I'm really excited about the berries. And then just a few more things. So I really, this looks crazy like I'm like wow you really broke the bank on that whole stitch from stash if if that's what you're doing a lot of this is um Christmas money and some of it's birthday too so uh and then heart and hand the love whirly gig I love this I don't have many of the whirly gigs but I love this one and then the um uh with I needle and thread the holiday hoopla the St. Patrick's because it's a sheep so super cool. And then the other thing that I got for my birthday is um, I'm really, I'm going down the um, Will Applique rabbit trail. And uh, if any of you follow Farm Girl, Michelle Rudy, she was doing some. And there were a couple of kits from Buttermilk Basin that she got that I just fell in love with. And I, you know, I had the whole website to look at everything they had. But because it was Valentine's Day and my birthday and hearts and flowers, oh my, I had to kind of go that route. So I ended up getting, um, this, this one is the um, Heart and Needle Keep and Hanging Heart. So it's actually two projects. There's a Hanging Heart and also Making a Needle Keep. And she did those, but they're, I love it. So cute. I know I'm not showing very good. I'm so sorry. But there's that needle keep in the middle. And it comes with all the, um, everything. Oh, well, there's the price tag. Here's all the, um, wool that you need and the pattern in there. And then this one, which is called Three Hearts Pillows. And again, it comes with all the, um, all the wool that you need to do it. It doesn't come with the buttons, and I, you need to use your own thread. Um, but this is, um, yeah, anyway, it's three pillows, and they're kind of Valentine's-y. Love them. And then I just was trying to pick something else that I wanted. This is a whole yearly thing, and I only went with the two that were more this time of year. Uh, 
and I got two they're really cute they I don't really know what the point of them is they just hang um, but they're really cute and it's called sweet and simple through the year and I got February and March and this is February it's just a cute little hanging little tag and everything comes with it love it and then this one is the March one and it's because so you guys know I love sheep but bees are also my other so sheep and bees are huge for me and this one so it's a bee skip love it isn't that so cute that comes with all the cute wool that you need so that is super fun and this is running longer than I thought it would but it's not terrible sorry thanks for sticking in there with me people the other thing I wanted to do is talk about um hello from Liz Matthews the when you guys so my December video I think my December 6th video maybe it was one before that and yeah I think it was a December 6th video uh I got to show my finish of a Pennsylvania bird and then um that was really cool and so Liz sent me a Pennsylvania bird because I had said I want to stitch it again someday um but with my own colorway since I've already done this but it's really it's really cool it's so I'm sorry but it's so neat and it says model was beautifully stitched by Stephanie Easterday I'm sorry that's really cool do you know how cool that is I know some we were having a conversation the other day and my friend said I don't look at that stuff I'm like that's okay but I actually do uh, especially with like Plum Street I don't know about you guys but I always read all the back of Plum Street I don't know why I just love reading the back of everything that they were that they that she writes um but I like to see who stitches it but here's the fun thing so she sent it for me but she sent me two one for you guys so giveaway anyway if you would like to stitch a Pennsylvania bird just say I'd like to stitch Pennsylvania bird and I will uh enter you guys in for a giveaway and just be a subscriber like the video be 18 years old I don't know I think that's it but this has been so much fun it has been forever since I've seen you guys. And you know what I mean when I say that. And I've loved it. I'm I'm glad I'm back. I'm glad that I'm here to do a video. And I really hope that you guys enjoyed this. Scatterbrained and all over the place and talking fast and everything that I am and do. But I appreciate you guys so much. I There are so many people that you can choose to watch. And I appreciate all of you that choose to watch me. So thank you so much. Um, I really, really, really love you guys. Thank you so much. Have a great week. Bye.